I fall in love to Krakow and I came uh, again and again. In the 1990s, as a journalist, I was also responsible for uh, southern Poland, Silesia, Silesia, and uh, Wrocław, for example, and Opole, and then <coughs> also Krakow. And so I came in 1999 to Krakow to write. Uh, uh, a report, a reportage about uh, Jewish life in Krakow in the past and in the present time. I was already there in the summer before, made appointments, for example, with people who survived thanks to Schindler's List. And I remember it was a rainy, cold, dark, grey November day. I had still some time. Uh, 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 until my next uh, appointment and so I was walking through Kashimir on Sheroka Street so the coffee houses in that time in the morning were still uh, closed so uh, and then suddenly I discovered the beautiful Remu synagogue close to the old Jewish cemetery and I said to myself, wow, for sure it's not raining inside and it's a little bit warmer, so why not to enter? I entered and there was uh, a man standing there, maybe about 50, 60, praying. He had black, uh, <coughs> black, um, uh, black trousers, black... Uh, um, Capote? Tak, he a black hat also, and um, uh, <coughs> I said to myself, wow, great, this fits perfectly for your uh, article. So I waited until he finished and I asked him, I introduced myself as a journalist from Germany, if I could ask him some questions. <coughs> and he uh, said yes, of course, but he didn't hardly told me anything about himself, only that he uh, came from London, that every year he travels to Krakow. Why? To pray for his parents at the York site. And he showed with a jest what happened to his parents and that they were killed. And then he started to ask questions to me. Why I uh, wanted to write uh, uh, an article about Jewish life, why in Krakow, why I'm interested in Judaism, and so on, and so on. And I said I was whole my life interested in Judaism, I, I, and I, I, I learned Hebrew, the Loshan Kodesh, I uh, lived in Jerusalem, and all the time he repeated his questions, but why, why, why? And I said, I don't know. And then he asked me, when uh, was your grandfather born? And I said, 1917 in Graz, in Austria. Aha, he was a Nazi. I said, I don't know anything about him. He's held as a taboo within our family. No one is talking about him. Aha, and your father? I said, 1943 in Krakow. And then he said, I tell you why you are interested in Judaism, because you feel guilty. You feel guilty for that, what your grandfather or grandparents did, whatever it was. And this Jewish guy from London, he was somehow right. It was not like that, that I was uh, walking depressive through life, but since my childhood, I could feel something went wrong in our family. And we said goodbye, and at the end, this Jewish guy asked me, do you have Jewish roots? And I said, no. Are you sure? And I said, yes. Uh, and he said, you have Jewish roots, believe me. So after this, I think one of the most important scenes in my life, I started what I wanted to do for a long time to make a research on my grandparents. I started really because as a journalist I learned how to do it in a, in a professional way. 
what I found out was really not nah, very, how to say, positive. And I, pub I wrote a book about all the story. This book was published in Germany. Let's say quite a success because uh, uh, I was one of the first breaking this taboo, talking about the connection of the family to the Nazi past. And it was already in the 90s, right? No, this book was published in 2004 for the first time. In 1999, I met this guy from, from London. Then I started the research. It took <coughs> some time. And in 2004, finally, the book was published. 